Hi, in this video I want to show you how easy it is to use the sky and subject masks and what a difference it can make to your travel photos. So let's jump straight in with this photo right here. So using Lightroom on the iPad, just going to click in to the filters and on the right hand side we've got the circle with the dots around the outside let's just click on that one and that's the masks at the bottom here we'll click on the plus button now we don't have a sky in this subject but I just want to see if it will pick out the background as the sky so I'm going to select sky see how it goes Okay, that's not um, particularly great. It's not picked out all of the sky, but don't worry. We're just gonna press cancel on that one, discard the changes and go back in and add another mask. So here we can select the subject and see how well that does. So I'm pretty happy that that's selected the subject really well. And over on the left hand side, there's a square with a circle in it um, and black and white colors. If we click on that, it actually inverts the mask. So we can do two in this one. So I'm gonna leave this one as the background, add another mask by putting the plus sign, select subject, and it selected the subject. So now we've got two masks going in the one photo. Let's start with the top one, which is, sorry, the bottom one, which is the background. And we're going to click into the light and I want to bring the exposure of the background down. So just going to start by bringing that down a little bit and then I'm going to play around with the blacks. If we actually pull the blacks in a little bit more, so lower those, it makes the sea look a bit more stormy. Let's see what happens when we do the whites. Not an awful lot, so I'm going to double click that and bring it back to zero. And again, the shadows, so just a case of having a play around and see what happens. So not much happening with the shadows there, so I'm going to bring that back to zero as well. The highlights, again, not much happening there. A little bit, I'm going to drop it down the same amount as I've dropped the blacks. And then I'm just going to have a look at the exposure again. Yes, I'm going to drop it down a little bit more. So for me, that background is looking a lot more stormy. There's a lot more drama in there. So now I'm going to go onto the mask that has just the subject, the bird. And we're going to do the same sliders just to see what they all do to the bird. So if we do some extremes, you can see that that's really overexposing the bird when we hit on the blacks. But if we go the other way, it's taking all the blacks too far. So I particularly like it just taking them down a little bit. The whites, let's do that and see what happens. And again, I'm going to take those down a little bit. The shadows, they're a little bit down as well. The highlights I'm going to bring up and then the overall exposure. Let's see. And I'm quite happy with that final look. So I'm just going to press a done and show you the photo. That's the edited version and that's the before. So again, the before and the edited. So I think that it's got a lot more drama in the edited version. Let's move on to the next photo that I've selected for this video. So another bird here, this one's from Rarotonga. And the reason I've picked this photo to have a look at is because the sky, as you can see, is overexposed, but the bird, I believe, is a bit too dark. And often when we travel, we do have these photos with the high dynamic range. So let's see how well the filter does to pick out the sky and the subject. So again, let's go onto the circle with the dots and the plus button. And let's start with the sky this time. So for me, that has picked out the sky pretty well indeed. Uh, so let's do some uh, editing on that to start with. So bring the exposure down and you can already see some detail returning to that sky. Then let's see what happens when we do the contrast. So this is moving the contrast down and moving it up. 
So I think about there would be great for now. Highlights, slide that one again. If we bring the highlights down, it's bringing more darkness into the scene. I don't want too much just looking in that top right corner. So maybe around there. The shadows, and when we take the shadows down, it all gets a bit darker and we lift them up. I think that shows a good amount there. The whites, if we go too bright again, it's overexposing. So I'm quite happy with that level there. And then the blacks as our final one. And I'm going to leave those as a zero. So let's have a look at the bird. Let's press on the plus button and see if the mask can select the subject. Okay, that's done a pretty good job. It's not got much of the rock, if any, in there. It's just left its legs out, but we can probably work with that. So I'm going to start by bringing up the exposure. And you can see some of those beautiful colors coming out there. And then we'll look at the contrast because, like I said, those beautiful colors, if we take it up a little, it brings out the red around the face. Highlights, slide them down and slide them up and see what difference it makes. I think up is better, but I don't want to go too unnatural, so somewhere around there. Now, having a look at the shadows, you can see we can take out all of that color really if we go too far down, but it can make it look pretty unnatural if we go too far up. So maybe around there. The whites, again, lifting it up a little bit and we'll lift up those blacks ever so slightly there. Okay, so I think that that's looking pretty good. It's certainly looking very different to how it started. Let's go back to there. So that is the edited version. And that was the before. So you can see what a difference just a few quick edits can make to your photos. And I hope you've enjoyed watching this video and I hope you've learned that it's actually really easy to do. The masks really work for themselves. And you can just use those sliders until you get a look that you like. If you have enjoyed this video, I think the next one that you should watch is my video about why to shoot in RAW. So I'll link that one just up here for you. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye bye.